welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a Reformation review. Now if you recall, uh, if you read my blog, at the end of last year I shared a list of brands that I wanted to try out in 2019, a number of them which were more sustainable or ethical brands. And Reformation was on that list. And I was recently on the hunt for a pair of black high-waisted skinny jeans and I thought I might as well try out the pair that Reformation had. They kind of seemed to fit the bill. They were sort of everything that I was looking for and while I was on there I figured I'd have a look through everything else that they had. As through the five piece French wardrobe challenge I did still have one purchase left over for my summer wardrobe and if you did want to see what else I added to my summer wardrobe I am going to link that video up here in case you would like to go and check it out. Now before I dive into it and share with you what I picked up I am just going to leave a little time code here in case you just want to go see the good stuff but before that I do want to quickly run through the brand, through the shipping, through some of the sustainable practices that they have in place before I talk through everything. One of the other brands that I'd wanted to try in 2019 was Suzanne and unfortunately I didn't have the best experience with my first order and I did film a whole video talking about why I sent everything back which I'm going to link up here if you would like to go and check that out. However, I'm very happy to report that I've had a completely different experience with shopping from Reformation and so I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. So firstly, if you have not heard of Reformation, it's an LA based brand and it's kind of one of those, I suppose, cool girl brands. You see it a lot on Instagram and I can definitely see why they appeal to a much younger sort of an audience. I'd say probably how I found out about Reformation was the fact that they were using dead stock fabrics to produce some of their clothing. And upon doing a little bit more research, I've actually found out that about 15% of their items are made through dead stock fabric. So it's not everything like I'd originally thought. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, they do have a number of sustainable practices in place, which I think are really great. So the first one being that they actually release a sustainability report. And I believe that this is quarterly. Don't quote me on that, but you can find out more about it on their website, which I will link all that information down in the description box below. But essentially they provide updates to their database sharing where they are at with their sustainability targets. So they have certain goals that they want to reach by certain timeframes. And I think it's really good to see a brand that is being held accountable and trying to make sure that they reach those targets. So that's the first thing. Some of the other sustainable practices that they have in place are that they use green building infrastructure. They try to reduce their energy or water footprint as much as possible. And one thing that I think is actually really cool, and I haven't seen any other brands do, this but they share the actual carbon footprint of every single item that they produce on their website some of the other things that they do is they use recycled paper hangers in their stores which I think is really different I haven't heard of any other brands doing this they also try to offset their emissions by planting trees that's something that is really important to them and one thing that I thought was very very cool is that more than three quarters of their management team is made up of females or those from underrepresented communities, which I personally really loved because it shows that they are making an effort to include diversity within their teams and also be really inclusive. So let's talk about the shipping. Now I placed an order, my order was over 200 US dollars, so I think I received free express shipping. I am gonna pop all of that information in the description box below. And it arrived within one week of me placing my order, which I thought was relatively quick considering that is an international order. In terms of the returns process, I do believe that this differs depending on where you live. However, for Australia, it is a 20 US dollar fee to return your items via FedEx. I do know just from reading the return and exchanges policy that certain countries you have to pay for the returns yourself so you'd have to go to the post office just a word of warning so you may like to go and check that out before you place your order now the one thing that I did admittedly find very tricky when placing my order was determining what size to get I referred to the size chart and according to that I would be a size zero and everything which I do not think would be right. Uh, so er, to err on the side of caution, I went for a size two. I am going to put all of my measurement details down in the description box below, just in case that helps you if you are looking at similar styles of items to what I ended up ordering. And I am going to talk through each piece, whether I'm keeping it, whether I think it's worth it, also the price, all of that. So maybe let's just straight dive into it with the piece that kicked off this entire order, which were these black high-waisted skinny jeans. Now these have a really long inseam and I will say that these are perfect if you are super tall. The price of these was 98 US dollars which I think is really reasonable for a pair of jeans that have been made sustainably 
Obviously, if you are buying clothing that is more sustainable, it is going to be more expensive than something from a fast fashion brand. It is just the very nature of the sustainable and ethical industry. And unfortunately, it does mean that it is a little bit more exclusive than lower price brands. However, I do think that it can be worth it. And I think it's really good to kind of support brands that are trying to make a positive impact over ones that are having more of a negative impact on our environment. Uh, there's a whole discussion around this and actually I'm going to link a really good podcast down in the description below around ethics and sustainability and how to determine what sustainability or ethical practices best suit your own moral values. Uh, so these are just a high-waisted black skinny jean. I think they're called the high rise and skinny or something like that And the fabric on them is actually really unusual. It is not a cotton Elastane mix, which was sort of what I was expecting. There is cotton. There's a lyocell tinsel. There is elastane I think there might even be polyamide in here. It's a real blended mix and honestly probably not what I would have picked in terms of composition for my jeans however that mix actually makes these very, very comfortable. I went for these in a size 25 and I do think that they are a really good fit on me. They don't really pull across my hips, which is something I do kind of find sometimes with denim, just as I tend to be a little bit wider around my hip area. I do find that they aren't super tight at the back. I have a slightly curved back, curves inwards, so I do sometimes experience a little bit of gaping at the back. That can be a little bit of a common issue for me, but I love the rise on these. I think it's really nice, and like I said, this fabric is very, very comfortable, very stretchy. It's the kind of jeans that you could wear on a plane, you could wear these lounging around all day at home. I can't speak to the composition of of their blue wash denim. I suspect that's probably more of a cotton elastane mix, but yeah, these ones super stretchy. And in the cutaways, what you will see is how I'm planning on getting these tailored because I am going to need to get them taken up. My inseam measures around about 28 inches, so it's quite short and uh, these are very, very, very long on me. So what I'm planning to do is get them not only taken up, but also tapered in slightly. Because they are such a stretchy material, I know that that's not going to be an issue and it will mean that I'm going to have a super slick, super tight, skinny jean, which is Generally, my preference, if you like something that has a little bit more room around the ankle, then these will probably be perfect for you. As I mentioned, I love these and I am going to be keeping them and I will keep you guys updated on how they wear in my regular What I Wear in a Week videos. Now the next three items I picked up in terms of fulfilling that last spot in my five piece French wardrobe for summer. So the first one that kind of caught my eye was this little camisole. Now you guys probably know how much I love wearing camis. They're something that I tend to wear probably three quarters of the year. It's really only in winter that I wouldn't reach for one. And this one I thought was really sweet. So this is called the Overland Top and this retails for 98 US dollars, which does seem like a lot of money. It's 100% linen and it is double lined, so I was really impressed with the quality. The linen does have actually a really nice soft touch to it. It is thick, it feels sturdy and substantial. However, I also can see that this isn't the type that is going to crease up too much. What, we, what I really liked about it, aside from the sweet print, which I think is really kind of tropical and really fun for summer, is the slightly curved neckline. And I really appreciate the fact that it does have those adjustable straps because that's perfect. If you're more taller or more petite, you can kind of make sure that it fits you perfectly. It also has this sort of smocked, elasticated detail at the back, which is great because it has that bit of stretch and a bit of movement, so it's not gonna to feel too constricting. And then it just does up with a zip up closure. I really love the playful print on this, which I think is kind of perfect for the summer and spring months. It's kind of a little bit tropical. And I would say that probably the way that I would wear this would be with some high-waisted skinny jeans and a nice blue wash. I also maybe throw a blazer over the top of it. I think it would look really sweet. In terms of the sizing on this, so yeah, I got a size two and I will say that this is slightly too big for me. So I probably would have been better off with the zero. From the cutaways, it'll probably look like it fits me perfectly, but I can assure you it is slightly too big. You'll probably notice it most around the bottom part of the top where it sort of bunches up where I've tucked it into my jeans because there is a little bit too much fabric there. And I did just find that I probably would have preferred it to fit a little bit more snugly across the bust. 
but overall I think it's a really beautiful top. Uh, I would say linen tends to be more of a premium, more expensive fabric, so I can understand the $98 price point, which I think again it's, a, it's sustainably made, the garment workers are being paid fairly, so you can kind of expect that those items are going to cost a little bit more. The quality seems really lovely, I can't see any loose threads or anything like that, so it does look like the kind of piece that will last a really long time. But sadly, I will not be keeping this one just because the fit is a little bit off on me. But otherwise, I think it's a really beautiful one. And I believe if you had an hourglass shape, this would actually probably look really good on you because it would just skim over your curves really nicely. My lighting is wreaking havoc with me today because I am using natural light and there is a lot of cloud cover. So I'm very sorry if it's quite inconsistent throughout this video. But I wanted to dive into the third piece, which is this very beautiful daisy print dress. Now this is called the peach dress and it retails for 198 US dollars, which admittedly is quite expensive. I will say across the board, Reformation dresses tend to be more highly priced. I found that their jersey dresses, they sort of run around the $150 mark, which I actually think is quite expensive for what they are and then it kind of goes up to around the $250 mark. This one here is a viscose rayon mix so one thing that I always have concerns about when it comes to viscose or rayon is that it shrinks slightly when you put it in the wash so you do need to be very conscious of that if you're buying anything in that material or composition. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite pieces that I picked up and I'm just gonna spoiler alert say I will be keeping this one I really like the way that it fits so again I got it in a size 2 and actually I think this was a really good fit on me there is a little bit of give around the waist but otherwise it fits me very very well uh, it's not too tight or anything it has that zip up closure at the back and then it also has these ties so you can adjust the straps again which is that feature that I really like the skirt is more of an a-line style which is really fun and flirty very feminine and it hits me just below the knee which I think is a really nice length it's uh, a lot less scandalous than some of the other styles that they have and they do have I think a mini dress in this style too which is much shorter I will link that in the description box as well as a really beautiful midi skirt which I thought was just gorgeous and actually it was a bit of a toss-up between that and this dress but otherwise I'm really really happy with it the quality again seems really nice it is also double lined and is not sheer at all well it's double lined at the bust should I say uh, it's not sheer at all and and it just really flows nicely and this is one that I can see myself wearing all year round because it is a black base with the print on top of it I kind of feel like I can layer this up so for winter I'll probably be putting a little turtleneck on underneath and tights with boots but for summer I can just wear it on its own transitional seasons I can throw a leather jacket over the top of it I just sort of feel like the opportunities for this dress are endless and I'm really excited to start wearing this one then the final piece that I decided to pick up and try out were these linen trousers. Now these are called the Tanner Pant and these retail for $178 US dollars. And actually I sort of originally saw this style when they released it in a gingham check print, which I thought was really beautiful. However, it's not really my style. So when I saw them come out in this linen, I thought that they would be the perfect wardrobe addition for me considering that I tend to really love wearing linen, especially in the warmer months here in Sydney. It's just a really great fiber because it's very breathable and I love the feel of it as well. It's just sort of one of my favorite materials. You guys probably know I talk about it all the time and actually uh, coincidentally, they're a very similar style to the trousers that I'm wearing today from Topshop. These Topshop ones are made out of synthetic. And while I love wearing them, I wanted to see if I could find a alternative that was made out of natural fibers. So I thought I would give these a go. Uh, these are very long. Again, these are perfect if you were tall. If you're a tall girl, you are going to be having a field day reformation. I kind of feel like a lot of their styles, especially the trousers, are much more catered to those who have a longer inseam than I do. If I was to keep these, I would definitely need to get them taken up just because they are too long. And actually, uh, so again, I got these in a size two and these are a little bit too big on me. Again, it probably won't look like it from the cutaways. However, the waist is about six centimeters larger than my natural waist. So there's a lot more space around there. Probably good if you wanted to tuck in big bulky sweaters. However, that's probably not how I'd want to wear these. Uh, so, um, if you are the same size as me, if you've got similar measurements, then you probably want to get these in a zero if these are something that are of interest to you. The quality of the linen on this is a lot stiffer, it is a lot rougher than the linen on that Overland top. I actually would say of the two, I prefer the linen on this, I think it is much nicer. 
uh, this is definitely the type of linen that would crease up and that you wouldn't want to be wearing anywhere where you are concerned about looking disheveled. I think this is more of a holiday piece in my opinion or the sort of thing that you'd wear lounging around at home on the weekend. It's not the type of trouser that I would wear going out somewhere where I want to look very put together. But other than that, I do really like the style. I love the little tortoise shell button. I think that's really nice. And the turn up, the fold at the ankle is really lovely too. These have more of a balloon shape over the hips. So if you are a pear shape uh, or if you've got a little bit of a booty, then these will fit you really well. But unfortunately, these are the other one that is going back. So the of, of all of the items that I picked up, I will be keeping the black skinny jeans, which are a wardrobe basic, and then I will also be keeping the beautiful daisy print dress as well. So two pieces I'm really excited to wear. In terms of my overall experience from shopping on the Reformation, I actually found it really easy to find what I wanted. I have to say that I could have probably purchased a lot more than I did. I will admit that everything is quite expensive, however, you have to keep in mind that if you're shopping sustainably, it tends to be priced on the higher end of the spectrum and that is because fair wages, trying to reduce impact on the environment, those things can be very expensive and they definitely add up. The shipping process was really quick. I actually, and I forgot to mention this before, my, my mistake, uh, the packaging that it came in was this uh, paper packaging that says, honey, I'm home, and actually, one of the dresses came in this little packet too, which says being naked is the number one most sustainable option. Wear number two, which I thought was pretty cute actually. And the thing that I thought was very neat, I've never seen this before, but the plastic packaging that it came in is actually made out of vegetables. So this is compostable. And I would love to see more brands doing this. I think that this is a fantastic initiative and it's something that we should Considering what an enormous phenomenon online shopping has become and how much plastic is used in terms of wrapping items, I think that this is such a great uh, answer or solution to being able to package items up individually. So would love to see more of this and very impressed that they kind of incorporated sustainability into their packaging as well. So that is my overall review, a little bit mixed in terms of the sizing and the fit of things, but I would say that's probably my biggest complaint. I think if you are very petite then you're going to struggle to find something that fits you well on reformation the smallest size that i could see that they do is a size zero and if i'm a size zero and i would say i'm an australian six to eight or us two to four generally then i think if you were even smaller than that it, most things are going to be a little bit too big on you they will swamp you and in order for them to fit you properly you would probably need to look at getting them tailored unless you went for one of the wrap styles which i think are a little bit more generous in terms of sizing so that is it from me. I would love to know which of these items you really like the most. If you've got any favorites from the Reformation site which you think I should check out, please drop them down in the comment section below. All of the items that I styled this with will be linked in the description box below. I also, like I said before, include my sizing that I picked and also my measurements. So I hope that that will help you if you were looking to place an order of your own. I am also gonna do a corresponding blog post where I talk a little bit more. So if there's anything that I missed, you'll probably find that over there. I'm gonna drop that in the description box too. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you wanna see more fashion videos from me. I will see you guys next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.